values have to be chosen intentionally because there are people around they will try to change your values who you are is a reflection of your values your values are developed consciously or unconsciously success is conscious and christian values have to be developed consciously this message will inspire you to develop the right values for a successful Christian life. You can order this message series through the following means. Place your order on Facebook by posting Order Values at the comment section or message window. Welcome to Air Power with Kako Baden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kako is the senior pastor of the Morning Star Cathedral, Lighthouse Chapel International, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Welcome. Kako continues his teaching on the subject, The Just Shall Live by Faith. Today, he speaks about what it means to live a life of faith. Let's join in. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 4, my key scripture. Behold, his soul, which is lifted up. Is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Ask your neighbor, my neighbor, what are you living on? Consciously or unconsciously, we always live our lives based on something. So, what I want to say is that if you want to lead a successful Christian life, you must make sure that you must not live your life based on the standards and of the things of this world. So the question is, how should the Christian live, it, live his life? A Christian should live his life based on faith. That's why Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 4 says, His soul, which is lifted up, which means if he uses either his emotions or his mind or his will to run his life, he cannot lead an apart life. The just shall live by his faith. You know, since I became born again, as a Christian, I have run my life on what I believe. And what I believe supersedes what I think. In Galatians chapter 2 verse 20, Paul said, I am crucified with Christ. I live yet not I. The life which I live in the flesh, he said, the old Paul is dead. He said, there's a new Paul. Why? Because if any man is in Christ, he's a new creature. All things have passed away. All things have become new. What he was saying was the old Paul who used to be a scholar, who used to be just moved by his mind and do things that he thought was right, he said, that old Paul is dead. You know, when I became born again, I faced a choice. I didn't know that that choice existed, but after I became born again, I was confronted with that choice, which was, how am I going to run my life from now? What's it going to be based on? Then I realized that as a Christian, I had to base my life on, number one, faith in the scriptures, the written word of God. The first thing I did was that, Bishop Doug led me to Christ and he said to me, now that you are born again, you must have Christian friends. You see, he was quoting the scripture. In 2 Corinthians 6.14, the Bible says, Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. When he quoted that scripture, then I said, look, it seems I must make Christian friends. So I remember somebody invited me for a Christian fellowship meeting, and I went. When we closed the meeting, I walked to the president and the vice president, and I told them that I want to be your friend. There were no people that under normal circumstances can be my friend at all. But you see, th this friendship was based on what I believed. Hebrews 10.25, it says, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves, as is the manner of some. So the Bible says that, as for going to church, it's part of Christian culture and living. Do you believe it or not? If you believe it, you will be here. If you don't believe it, you will be somewhere else, washing your car. It all depends on what you believe. 
So a Christian lives his life, number one, based on what he believes in the scriptures. Amen. Amen. Hebrews 4, 1, the Bible says, Let us therefore fear, lest a promise be left us of entering into his rest. Any of us should seem to come short of it. For the word priest was not profitable unto them. Why? Because it was not mixed with faith in them that had it. So here the Bible says the scripture has to be mixed with what? Faith. What you believe. Now let me tell you something. Don't allow circumstances, situations, or people to change what you believe. People can do what they want to do, but you know what you want to do and what you believe. That's your standard. Everybody may be stealing in the office, but based on what I believe, I cannot change my values and act like everybody in the office. Because what I believe is different. So when we say a life of faith is living your life based on the scriptures. Thanks for joining us. Today, we learned that to live a life of faith is living based on what is written in the scriptures. Join us same time tomorrow for the continuation of this message. Before we go, here's a praise report to boost your faith. Received my appointment as a professor. Dear Prophet, I wrote to you some months ago about getting a job. Finally, my appointment has come and I have been employed as an assistant professor in my university. Thanks for your time. You can contact us, seek counselling, ask for prayer, order today's full-length message or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 700 90 10. Send an email to info at .org. You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you.